It's Hugh Foster on the bass here. Time for another quick lick. Before we break this one down, as always, just a quick note to say, if you enjoy that and you'd like to get the backing track and the PDF of the transcription in tab and standard notation, please consider heading over to my Patreon and signing up. I really appreciate it. So this is a lesson I'd say aimed at intermediate bass players say so, you know you've, you've picked up quite a few of the fundamentals and you're looking to expand in a few ways and maybe you're a bit bored of playing you know pentatonic licks and stuff like that this one's going to be really good for building up finger dexterity in both hands you've got the fingers in the right hand but also you get to use all four in the left hand and you're using a variety of techniques you're using slides you're using hammer-ons you're using those two, yeah. <laughs> but some cross string stuff that's gonna be quite interesting. Changing direction, you know, you're going down, but then you're going back up and then back down. So yeah, it's, uh, it's got a bit of everything, but hopefully not too much to be overwhelming. <laughs> Let's have a little look at this quick click. So once again, we're in E Dorian. Um, really playing the hits today. Like mid tempo, 90 BPM, funk. The main body of the uh, bass line is really, really straightforward. It's basically using, you know, root, fifth, and flat seven. And then occasionally, that natural sixth that comes up a lot in funk. And that's the bit that makes it Dorian. And also, the stuff that happens later on really, really goes to town on that. These are quick licks. I have very little time before I have to leave for my gig tonight. So I'm going to try and get through this in double quick time. Uh, I've said quick too many times, but there we go. So, <laughs> ah, this one's all about dexterity of the fingers uh, and fingers on both hands, really. Uh, so obviously you've got your two fingers in the right hand that you're playing the finger style with, but also you're getting to use every single digit on your left hand. And that's, you know, really, really useful. Stretching them a little bit, but hopefully not too much in this region of the fretboard when it comes to that fill at the end of the phrase. But let's just break down the main body of the phrase here, the, um, the sort of root fifth flat seven and occasionally natural six thing going on. Three, four. Two, round again. For a funk bass line, it doesn't use an awful lot of syncopation. One, two, and then, then. Mainly little groups of 16th until that point where you hit the natural six, the fourth fret on the A string on three and of that bar. One, two, three, and four, and. So using eighth note syncopation at the very end of the phrase there. But other than that, nothing too challenging in the main body of the bass line. So the second time around, you use a lot of space as well. Uh, really all about just leaving space for a couple of beats. So it's one. And the second time around. Three, four. So really giving it time. But yeah, let's get towards the end now where we bring in that uh, spicy lick at the end. Let's just zoom in a little bit more on that. So we're going to slide off one. So yeah, really using all the fingers. There's a really fast moment at the start of the phrase using what you could call 30 second notes, what in Europe they call um, demi-semi quavers. 
which is yeah i prefer i prefer the numerical system to be honest because <laughs> it gets really really uh hemi demi semi quaver yeah like who's gonna say that with a straight face but yeah demi semi quavers or 30 second notes leading into that e there this is going from g 12th fret on the g string down to f sharp 11th fret 9th fret for the e all right so that's the start of the phrase on that string on the first string and then you carry on down down to a c sharp so 12th fret and 11th fret d and c sharp and then do a hammer on there back up to the d so you've got to have really good dexterity with the these two fingers your ring finger and your little finger and then ninth fret for that b ninth fret for that b slide down to an a on the seventh fret okay so a lot of slurring but it's it's going to help with the you know speed at this point okay and then the last bit which is my favorite where we're playing a c sharp here on the 11th fret of the d and you could play the d the next note on the 12th fret of the d but i'm choosing to play it here on the seventh fret of the G. The reason being, you can do some really fun sort of like uh, phrasing. And that that is tricky at full speed, but it means you create that kind of slidey effect and you can stay relatively anchored on that seventh fret with the first finger. <laughs> yeah, and occasionally you can slip up like that. Right, and to finish it off, G, 10th fret on the A string and add a bit of vibrato for good measure. So that very last moment. Okay, so once again, that fill in entirety. One. Thank you, Mr. Crow. I think it's just a fun line, like using all the elements from the Dorian mode I think we cover every single note available from that mode. Um, and yeah, it's it's going to be a good line that you can show off with and, you know, portable to any key. Say we're in the key of G, it would work as well. Yeah, maybe I should have done it in G, but E, you know, nice and easy. We can all work with E and then um, <laughs> move on from there. So that just about covers it for me today. I'm, you know, honestly, the main body of this lick, really, really simple. That line at the end, a little bit trickier, but slow it down and I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, and obviously, if you do head over to my Patreon, you can get the PDF and you can see it in its full glory and kind of like, yeah, if you're very, if you're a visual learner in that way, that should really, really help. And obviously, if you want to play along with the backing track that I've made and all the other backing tracks that I've made for all of these original video lessons, they're all there. They're all up for grabs, and I really appreciate the sport if you head over there. Oh, I've done this spiel so many times. I'm sorry. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, is it obvious that I need to leave for my gig really soon? <laughs> but yeah, that just about covers it from me today. If you have any thoughts or comments about this one, do let me know in the comments below. Like I said earlier, it is an intermediate level and above lesson. But fear not, I am planning to get some more beginner lessons out there soon, so watch this space for those. And uh, yeah, let me know how you get on and I'll see you guys next time.